Let's see if anyone is bored on a Friday night. Maybe not. I'm going to give it a few minutes um, before we start going through some pages that I thought would be exciting to look at before they get mailed out. out. Someone has been, a big Tilly Walden fan has been paying off a bunch of pages for some time, and I finally get to send it overseas, and so it's kind of the last time that uh, I'll get to see some of these pieces. Well, I guess I'll, the last time I'll ever get to see some of these pieces, these Tilly pieces. Um, so I wanted to do a video where I show show off um, basically some of the original pieces that Tilly gave me to sell way back when we started over a year ago. But looks like it'll be quiet tonight. Um, so maybe I'll just go through them and we'll see if anybody anybody joins social media these days. I swear, people with actual lives that don't spend their whole weekends packing art and thinking about original art. So this is one of my very, very favorite pieces of Tilly's. It's just an illustration that she did. Uh, it's was on the site for a long time. I was really kind of surprised that people didn't pick it up more quickly, uh, especially when so many pieces of Tilly's sold pretty early on. Um, but there's just something a little haunting about this image that I really like. I almost bought this myself, but can't can't have everything. This is a page from Spinning, and I think it it's not published in the actual book. Tilly often, uh, at least during this period of Tilly's work, um, she would sometimes uh, redo pages over and over again to, to get them just right. And so I think there is... A version of this page that is published, um, but this is slightly different than what she picked to go into the book. It's still, I think, a really neat piece, especially the use of kind of the blacks on those night, those night pieces. And then we have a bunch of pages from Are You Listening? Um, one of my favorite, favorite Tilly books. You can see there's some movement in the background here. This is kind of a fun video too, because I think we are going through a few different periods of, of Tilly's um, career, and you can see the changes in styles. Um, we'll, we'll see a page from the end of summer at the end, a couple pages, but you can see, you know, this is spinning her autobiography that she did. Um, don't know the years off the top of my head, uh, head but I'm sure you all can, can look them up. Uh, but this is spinning, and then Are You Listening, which is much more recent. I should pull out a Clementine page uh, so we can see that contrast, but I don't, I don't, have, the, don't have them near me. Um, you know, I think it's really neat to see how artists evolve. Um, I think Tilly has gone from a really detailed style in her early pages. Here, I'll skip ahead. You can see here. From are you listening or not are you listening from the end of summer um with kind of a little nemo vibe to the story um that i think she did as her maybe college thesis project which is pretty pretty crazy um anyway so we'll just go through some of these i really love when she incorporates you know, bits of nature into these pieces. And I love the, here you can see the, the contrast of how small the character is and then just that capture that face there, right? This sort of sense of how big, how big the world is um, and are you listening and how, you know, 
the foreshadowing of, of what's what's to come with these cars. Here's another page I really love. Um, there's a bunch of scenes with a little pull behind trailer in Are You Listening? And you can see the two kind of main characters here um, as they're they're getting to know each other and, and having some conflicts and the, the differences in their expressions. I really think that the um, the black and white, these inked versions of these pages are a lot different from what ended up in the in the book. Um, I think there's, if I remember correctly, s sort of splashes of, of colors. And um, I kind of personally prefer these inked pieces. I, I, I don't know if <laughs> they really do a ton of um, artist editions for more kind of independent, small, I don't know if we call Tilly Small Press anymore, but... I'd really love to see more opportunities for folks to, to kind of take a look at what these pages originally look like. Again, another, um, another reason why I love when she does these kind of outdoor outdoorsy images. And you should, uh, I don't have the page number on this, but you really should take a look at the published piece because I think it looks quite a bit different when it's colored. And, you know, I just love the, the sort of depth and the detail. Uh, let me get a little closer there. You know, there's a lot of love put into this page. Here's another more, a little bit more sparse. Um, you can see that the contrast between these two, right? These lush green trees and then these these sort of leafless branches as she's trying to climb out of this um, you know valley or rock formation and but still a ton of detail in these little these little characters and the, their surroundings. Oops, take that off. We have another page here where. Kind of sparse in this this area here, um, but then we see these tiny, tiny little little characters in the background. I'm sad to see these pages go. Finally, finally, after a very long time, um, and then there's a couple more left from uh, the end of summer, and I I I'm sad to see. I think we maybe I think we have one page left after. After a very long time uh, with these these larger pages, this is one of the first kind of bigger projects that Tilly did. Again, I think it I think it was her maybe her college thesis. Um, but regardless, every time I look at these pages, I don't I don't have many left with the sort of intricate um, work on these doors um, and some of the other background pieces. But I, it's just. I don't even know how she did it. Uh, the amount of detail in the each of these panels is just astounding, especially with how small a lot of this gets. And I think I think a lot of people don't go back quite that far with Tilly to see um, the first couple books that she did. But you know, I think I think there's a, something to say about youth and. Um, you know, putting it all on the all on the page here. Uh, you know, very very detailed. I don't think she'd be able to to uh, uh, finish her super long graphic novels if she still worked in this this sort of style. Let's see if you can see those details in the doors. I think this is maybe eleven by fourteen. So a little bit bigger, um, uh, bigger than the the other, other um, pages that she used to do. Um, and here's the the last page that's going to be shipped out soon, also from the end of summer. Let me just give you a, a closer look here. I love the hand lettering. Even her lettering has changed a little bit. It's these old, 
old pages. Oh yeah, you can see the, the level of detail. I really, I think this is my favorite panel up here. Um, and just to give you some contrast, right? So that's the end of summer page, and this is a page from, uh, are you listening? So quite a bit different difference in size, as well as level of, of detail. Of course, that's a bit of a more sparse one. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you. I'll go back in reverse because there's a few folks that joined late. Um, I am just showing off um, a, a package worth of art that um, someone has paid off and is going to be sent overseas here very soon. And I'm just kind of excited that I get to send these out, but also a little sad because it, it kind of represents the beginning of Athenium as well. A lot of these pieces and Tilly's become so busy recently with how many different books she's, she's working on that we don't get as many um, of the sketches that we used to. Uh, those sold almost immediately when we put them on the site. It's from spinning. Um, so it's sad to see this one, my very, very favorite piece uh, that I should have bought, but you can't partake in the <laughs> art that you sell. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at some of these Tilly Walden pieces. We have some still on the website and we'll have more at, at some point as well. Feel free to reach out if you're ever interested in something that you don't see. A question that people ask all of the time is, um, oh, why am I going to blank on the name of the book that everyone especially loves? Um, there's one book that we don't have any art from that uh, people are very sad about. Um, but we do have pieces from Clementine. We have pieces from Are You Listening? I don't have every piece that is available up on the website, but if you're interested in anything in particular, feel free to reach out. Thank you for joining on this Friday, um, and thanks for watching whenever you all watch it on demand. Uh, if you ever want to take a look at other art from some of the other, other artists at Athenium, just let me know and I can do another one of these live videos. All right, have a nice evening.